Hey guys and welcome back to episode 2 of the MyPro in VFL series and as you guys have voted for a two episode a week format I'm gonna only be doing three games in today's episode and two days later probably on Wednesday hopefully I'll bring out the other three remaining games of last weekend's action but three big games in today's episode to be honest we're facing off against Malaga and as you can see by the league standings they are top of the league right now on goal difference we're joined top with them and Barcelona it's us three right now who have a perfect record and either one of us tonight is going to lose that or maybe even both if we draw the big one Villarreal against Malaga the first of three important league games today and honestly we need to win they have the goal difference advantage so if we beat them None of that will matter in the end. But Malaga, extremely strong side, it has to be said. In my opinion, I believe they were the strongest team in the league going into this season. Uh, even though you, the likes of Madrid and Barcelona are very tough as well, I felt like their team was complete. And as you can see from the get-go, straight away from kickoff, creating danger, creating chances, giving us a lot of problems. Tilly is keeping us in the game, two minutes in, brilliant few saves. To keep it at nil nil and obviously we're looking to go forward ourselves we don't want to sit back and go for the draw we force a good save out of Kurt who uh, started off the game well and you'll see him involved in some very very important bits later on because both goalkeepers in this game have played a major role and again on the other end we go now it's another chance for Malaga Tilly again big save and usually when you play big games in the VFL it's very tense not many chances very scrappy but as you can see right here Tilly has already pulled off around five or six incredible saves 20 minutes into the game. It's a very open game with a lot of chances and it's fun to play like that in a big game every now and again. Like I said, here's a chance now. Again, can't really get a shot off. I just tackle the ball into Kurt's arms and 24 minutes into the game. It's somewhat of a miracle that it's still nil-nil. They definitely had the better of the chances in the first half. It has to be said. Connor takes a shot though. Again, good save by Kurt. The follow-up can't be put in by myself and Jay on that tap in unfortunately was blocked as well so towards the end of the first half we were coming into the game a little bit more and arguably maybe creating a few more chances here as I burst down the right wing trying to get the space unfortunately I can't do that they cut it out and that is how the half ends a lot of action seven shots five on target for us six shots four on target for them slightly more possession for Malaga but a very even game at the half and it could it could have been two two it could have been three all could have been anything I try a long distance shot to try and beat Kurt unfortunately that's nowhere near and we need to make sure we get a little bit closer to that goal to try and threaten them to get that win. But this is the moment that changed the game. Harry gave the ball away and from one mistake at the back, they score. Jay, the top scorer in La Liga, I do believe right now, is not going to miss from there. It's been gifted to him. And Malaga take the lead around the hour mark and it seems all doom and gloom. Can we come back from this against one of the best sides in the league? It seems unlikely. We've just given up an easy goal and with 10 minutes on the clock it doesn't look like we could pull something back. We're trying to get some chances. This is it then. Jack forces a good save out of Kurt but it's not over. There we go again. Jack with a second effort. Third, fourth and fifth. At that point you know it's not going to be your day. Five chances to put the ball in the back of the net and Kurt CB Gaming in goal has pulled off one of the most incredible goalkeeping performances and this is it, my final chance to redeem myself and it's a miss again. And we failed. Or did we? I miss. Fee follows up and puts the ball in the back of the net. He rifles that one past anyone that's trying to get in the way. No messing about. Ten minutes on the clock. Villarreal have equalised in this big fixture. And that is a huge goal. We will take a draw. Uh, when you equalise that late on in the game, you should be happy with a point. We stay on level terms with them in the league. Or maybe not. Jay Good, LFC last season's Golden Ball winner, has stunned the crowd with that absolute banger from 30 yards out. It took something special to beat Kurt, and some people may say your keeper should be saving that, but honestly, he took it on his left, very well placed, side netting. Jay Good has given us the lead for the first time in this game, two goals in three minutes, and Malaga have crumbled in the final ten. They need to come back now. They need the draw. We're in injury time already. We get tackled in the box, but that goes out for a goal kick. And it seems like we're going to be able to see the game out. Or maybe is there one more final sick twist in this story? No, there's not. We've beaten Malaga. We remain unbeaten. We remain top of the league with a perfect win streak. And Malaga have been 
defeated for the first time in the league season. And honestly, it could have gone a lot different. Two goals in five minutes changed everything. Fair play to Malaga, very strong team. But I will say, in the end, I felt like we deserved to win. Based on those stats as well, 16 shots, 13 on, card, on target. Your keeper was immense. And we're glad that we finally got the way... Uh, got away with the three points in the end. Now we're playing the Champions League game against Atletico Madrid. Yes, I know, Atletico Madrid against Villarreal is a Spanish fixture, but this is Champions League football. They're in our group. We got off to a good start. We beat um, last uh, week around. It was Sheffield Wednesday, I do believe, for our first three points. So if we can continue that and win this game, we should be on course for the knockout stage in the Champions League. But Atletico Madrid, very solid team, I could tell from the start. They were set up a little bit more defensive than I guess they would normally play, just trying to bomb down the wing, a simple cross uh, dealt with by Tilly, but defensively they were immense, we couldn't really create that many chances and we're already in the second half when this kicks off, not a lot of action going on, they do get a chance on the corner but Jack deals with it in the end, other than set pieces, Atletico Madrid didn't have the creativity in them to really create chances. So uh, hopefully we can deal with those and get a goal on the other end. But chances have been scarce in this game. There is my chance. I tried to hold off the defenders. I ball roll and I took a weak shot. I could have taken it closer because the defender missed time this tackle. But obviously that's all hindsight. I could have done better though with that. And again, another chance. I don't really have a sweat option. I'm just going to bang it across. Hope that it goes in or we can tap it in for the rebound. But Connor can't lock onto that ball. And I've had two chances that I hold my hands up and say... I should have put one away maybe, but looking back at the chances we had, it was hard. The keeper made the saves that you'd expect him to save, and as you can see right there, they actually had more shots, but not really too threatening other than that. And I felt like that was a tough game. First time we didn't win in this series, that was the first time we drew with the team. And in the Champions League, it's not that big of a deal because we still have one game left to finish in that top two. Final league game of this episode against Deportivo we need to win this game Deportivo somewhere in mid table I do believe and uh, a team we should be able to beat if we're looking for that title we get off to a good start again the keeper pulling off some good saves 10 minutes into the game we're already pushing and creating way more than we did against Atletico Madrid Harry goes through here looking to play across the box to Jay and it taps it in <sighs> ruled out for offside yes and I will have a replay of this because no way in hell was Jay offside. I was offside, I did not interfere, I did not touch the ball and that's why the game made a massive cock up of that decision and ruled out the goal. Obviously we're not going to let that phase us too much, we go straight back again trying to dominate, trying to win the game and Jay this time justice has been served, he gets the goal that he deserves, he should have had it earlier to be honest and the way you're seeing the halftime stats I do apologise, I skipped them too fast to look into the player stats and that's why you're seeing a weird uh, half complete st stat screen sometimes. I always like to look at stats at half time to see what we're doing wrong if someone's losing the ball too much or we're taking too many shots or whatever to fix problems and here we go into a little romantic ballet, me and our centre back, I do believe that's Kebron. <sighs> For fuck's sake mate. Right anyways it's 2-0, I stole that one right in front of him and as a punishment, he decided to make out with me, which is absolutely fine. We're now 2-0, 50th minute. I play through Jay, and this bit you're about to see from Jay Good is absolute brilliance. He destroys everyone. He's in front of an open goal, and he still plays it across the box. Jay, you sometimes do things that should be considered illegal, but hey, it counts. 3-0. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic, loving the link up, especially Harry, me and Jay, you know, the Bremen boys from last season, we've played with each other now for uh, more than a season and it really showed in this game, we really had some good link up, unfortunately we can't really get that fourth goal and hey, there's a wild Tilly appearing in the video for once, Kebron smashes one off the bar, Jay can't really follow up with the header saved well again by the keeper but like I said, this game was really, really a good game. We don't have that too often. We scrape results sometimes against mid-table teams. And this time, we were firing on all cylinders. I do manage to tap it in. It's an own goal. It was going wide and it was reported as an own goal. So fair play to, uh, to that. Like you can see on the replay, it was going wide. But well played by Jay, creating that chance again. And now we're going to see a bit of magic from Harry, who's about to absolutely orchestrate this next bit. To sum it up, basically he gets the ball and he tells me and Jay to get into position in the box. And what happened next was a thing of beauty. Here we go. Harry in the, is on the ball. He tells us to run into the box, picks one out. Jay plays it across as he always does. 
Easy tap in. I've walked my way to a hat trick in this game, and this is what you should expect from Villarreal. This is what I wanted to see. Unfortunately, we don't always seem to click, but this game was absolutely perfect. Hopefully, we can keep this attacking play up and we can keep performing like that. And we're going to need it if we want to win this league. We got off to a good start by beating Malaga, but there's still a long way to go. We still have Real Madrid and Barcelona to play, but there you can see the end game stats against Deportivo. Deserve to win that game. Fair play to Deportivo. I got a nice message from uh, their manager saying that he started playing VFL because he saw my video. So shout out to you, mate. Uh, good luck to the rest, uh, well, with the rest of your season for you guys. And hopefully you'll do well. Thank you for the message. It, it does mean a lot to me. But anyways, I'm not going to show you any stats because... This was halfway through Saturday. I can't really show you league tables just yet, but in two days' time, you will see where we stand in the league and hopefully we'll be in a good spot. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.